Okay, welcome to your first tutorial on how to create asteroids in Construct 3. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to set up the background and create the player spaceship. So if you're using the tutorials on the Mr. Armin Computing website, you should be able to download and open up the asteroid start file. Um, that file is going to contain all of the objects and all the preset settings that you're going to need to create this game. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the background object. Now, if you look at the top right corner of the screen, you will see the project menu that contains all of the objects and files that you're going to need. Um, underneath that, you will see the layers menu uh, that lets you select which layer you want to add objects to. Um, and on the left hand side, you will see the properties menu as well. So the first thing we're going to do is find the background object. The background object is right here in the project menu click on that and then you want to drag it to the main screen okay before you do that please make sure you have the main layer selected um, if you don't have the main layer selected you're going to be inserting the object into the wrong layer um, from there you want to position it to the middle of the screen it can be a bit hard to do that just with the mouse so if you select the object and set the position of it to zero, zero, um, that will put it straight into the center of the screen. All right, let's make sure it stays there as well. So if you right click on it and then select lock selection, that will basically make it so that, you know, you can't move the background anymore. Um, it might look like a black screen, but when you do play the game, it will look like, well, stars in space, basically. From there, next thing you want to do is you want to put the player ship object onto the screen as well. So if you find the player ship object in the project menu, you then want to click and drag it into again the main layer. So make sure you have the main layer selected. And there we go. It looks a little zoomed out just so you can obviously see everything, but the player ship is now on the screen. Okay. Um, once you've got that object now onto the main layer, you're now going to want to start programming the player ship. Um, to do that, you're going to want to select the, the game events sheet tab. If you look at the top of the screen, you will see a few tabs. One says buy now. Um, we are using the free version of Construct 3, so you will get a bit of marketing on that. You've got your start page, the games tab, which we are currently in. But what we want to select is the game event sheet tab which is at the top um, of the screen so construct 3 is an event based programming software um, you're basically checking for events that occur in your game and then specific actions will follow based on the events that occur so what we're going to do now is we're going to set up some controls for our spaceship uh, if you click on add event on the top of the screen from there we want to select a keyboard event or a keyboard condition and then click next what we're going to do is we're going to program the up arrow to allow the ship to accelerate so we want to click on key is down and select next then if you click on the key option here okay and the key that we want to check for is the up arrow okay so literally press on the up arrow and the software will detect it and then click OK and then click done. All right, so we've got our first event started here. We're checking to see if the up arrow is being pressed. From there, you want to click add action to this event. This means that when the up arrow is pressed, the following is going to happen. And what we want to happen is we want the player ship object next. We want it to accelerate towards an angle. Okay, and then from there, we want it to accelerate 90 pixels to self.angle. Self.angle. All right. So what that says is now it's going to accelerate 90 pixels forward towards the angle that it is currently facing, that the object is currently facing. Then click done. We have our first event program there. It looks a little squished 
on my screen, but hopefully when you're programming it, you'll be able to read it a lot more clearer. We're now going to add a second event to make the spaceship or the player ship decelerate and break a little bit. So click on the add event again. We want a keyboard event and next press the key is down option again. And the key we're now looking for this time is the down arrow. So again, click on the down arrow on this selection option. Okay, we started our second event. So we're checking to see what happens when the down arrow is pressed. Add action to this event. Again, we want the player ship. This time we want it to essentially accelerate, but we want it to accelerate forward minus 100. Okay, minus 100. So that will essentially decelerate the ship now and slow it down. Well, if you press the down arrow. So we got the acceleration programmed. We got the deceleration programmed. We're now going to add some controls to basically allow you to turn the ship. Uh, so we want to add event again. Add event. We're going to go to keyboard option or keyboard event. Key is down again. Right, but this time we're now looking for the right arrow. Click OK and done. All right, and when that, uh, the right arrow is pressed, we want the player ship to rotate clockwise. We want it to rotate clockwise five degrees. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the left arrow. So we're going to add another keyboard event on line four. Key is down that one. Okay, and the key that we want to be pressed is the left arrow this time. And okay, and done. And when the left arrow is pressed, we want the player ship to rotate counterclockwise five degrees. There we go. So we now have our events programmed for the player spaceship to essentially move, or you know we have the controls programmed. If you press the up arrow, the player spaceship will move forward. If you press the down arrow, the player ship will decelerate and break. Um, and then if you press the left arrow or the right arrow, the player ship's gonna rotate five degrees clockwise, and the left arrow, the player ship will rotate left or counterclockwise five degrees. Um, to test this, if you press the preview button at the top, the preview button will basically open up um, another option which will allow you to basically test out your game. So here we go, here is the option right now to play the game, you've got the game open, if you press the forward arrows, the game will move forward, or the player ship will move forward, if you press the back arrow, the player ship will, will decelerate. And then we have the right and left arrows, which will turn the spaceship and again, allow us to control and steer. Okay, so that is the end of tutorial one. Um, in tutorial two, we're going to go over how we can create some spawn points and create large asteroids that essentially move towards the player spaceship.